Hey Doctor Who fans, time travellers and everybody else. Welcome back to uh, to part two of this uh, TARDIS review. Um, today I'm going to show you the inside of the TARDIS and uh, the, the design that I decided and also um, how it is lit and uh, also the, the, uh, the bigger on the inside illusion which of course is done with mirrors um, so, before we get into that, don't forget, if you like the content of this channel, which there's not much at the moment on it, but if you like the content, give the video a like and uh, subscribe. Okay, let's, let's go, let's get into it. Okay, so, looking very enigmatic. At this angle so we're now going to go uh, handheld so that I can uh, give you a more detailed look around on the inside I decided that the interior of this TARDIS would be uh, very ornate old style maybe even a little bit steampunk um, just let's go as far as we can in through the door and just have a quick look up and down so yeah so it's very busy inside control room is uh, the console room is very busy just going to pull back a little bit show you this little design element here so this uh, mesh that you can see there's a very specific reason for this and the reason is is that when my idea was that when somebody opened the door okay I'm just going to close the door so when somebody opened the door here if that mesh was not there they would instantly see their own reflection so that mesh is to disguise the fact that this the, the back wall of this interior is actually uh, just a big mirror so I'm just going to use a, a paintbrush now to illustrate that. Um, so here comes the paintbrush. You can see the reflection of the paintbrush already. So that is a mirror here, the whole thing. And this, this mesh detail here is actually glued onto the mirror. And, and like I say, it, its function is that you don't instantly see your own reflection, which just gives the whole thing away. So, ah, okay, it's a mirror. And you can't move, if you move to, I'm just moving across to the left now. I designed it specifically so that the other door gets in the way before the illusion is revealed. You might just be able to see a little bit of my camera there in, in that reflection. But yeah, that works really well. Also a design element is that these top parts of the mesh here, uh, I, I put them in triple so you can't see your reflection but then when it gets down to the bottom here I think I either put just a single piece of mesh on or a double piece so that you could see some kind of reflection because I wanted the idea of this floor to look as though it continues around behind the mesh um, and uh, I think I kind of achieved that in a way so yeah okay so the, the central console is actually a, a reflection of a model of a construction behind this second door here. So I built the console and kind of, actually you can see it, you can see the console here, I'm uh, pointing at it now, uh, and you can see my finger in the reflection. So um, the, the main console is actually just a reflection. Okay, so that's uh, that's the inside. It's all made out of uh, card, various thicknesses of card, and some of the smaller detail is, is made out of paper, different coloured papers and such from craft shops. And there's another tiny detail here that was unexpected when I did it because there's also a mirror on this uh, the, the right wall, the right interior wall which um, when you look at it, it gives the impression that there's a corridor going down towards the right because of course here is the outside 
of the TARDIS and then when you look inside, hey, hang on a minute, it goes all the way down there. So, quite amazing what you can do with mirrors, really. Okay, so that's uh, the review. I'm going to show you how the interior is lit because it doesn't look, there doesn't appear to be any light source apart from in, in the corner there. Um, and that again is a reflection, so the light source is actually uh, behind this door. And I'm going to show you how how that works now. But the whole the whole of the TARDIS is actually made out of uh, various thicknesses of card, and then painted blue with acrylic paint. These signs here. Um, they are actually just uh, photocopies that I painstakingly went around with black, with a with a black pen, with a black felt tip pen, and just left the, uh, the the letters open so that they they kind of light up a little bit. Okay, but that's the interior of my TARDIS. It's my own design, kind of made it up. I enjoy doing things like that. I enjoy making things up and just interpreting. How, how I feel it, it might it might look. Let's uh, let's now have a look at how the the interior lighting works. Actually, I, I could do with a couple of hands to help me with this. To uh, do, oh <laughs> hey, I mean you know this is the TARDIS and, and this is Doctor Who, so you never know when. You know, you ask you know, a couple of hands come out of nowhere and just help you. So, uh, wherever those hands came from, thanks for the help. So, what I'm going to do now, okay, hands, keep the base down. So, I'm lifting the uh, TARDIS up now, and what you will see revealed is uh, how the TARDIS is lit inside. There, so I'll just lift that right off the base. Uh, and if, uh, if hands can just stay in place for a moment while I just show that. So you can see uh, here, it, all I did is it's very crude, there's nothing, uh, absolutely nothing high tech about this at all. I just went along to the local uh, building market, got some wood, made a, a very crude uh, stand here for this uh, strip light to go into, so I glued the strip light on and then uh, made a hole in the base of the TARDIS model and all it is, is all I did was uh, take a little bit of alignment to get this back in all I did, and now you can see that that strip light is now lighting up the, uh, the interior of the TARDIS and I'll just watch those uh, fingers there of helping hands and um, and that's it okay thank you hands yes uh, wonderful and so that's it that's how the that's how the interior of the TARDIS is lit and um, yeah moving on so that concludes uh, part two of this TARDIS review I hope you enjoyed the, um, the the journey through of the exterior and the interior. Next project I'm working on is again strongly related to time travel and adventures in time, and it's called the Bureau. Making the whole thing. Here's a piece actually, a tiny piece of the model. Uh, I'm making the whole thing out of uh, foam board, and it's quite a big model. Fits huge fits on this on this desk and uh, oh <laughs> tiny tiny little TARDIS there made of foam board so the the next videos that I'll be posting will be uh, uh, reviews of how of, of how the build for that project is coming on making it's 125th scale and I'm really excited about making uh, oh my desk is such a mess Really excited about making the, the, the tiny elements that, that go into the, the Bureau. The Bureau is a time agency with uh, time agents and assistants and they travel through time. 
solving crimes and mysteries and all, all that kind of thing. But um, I'm really enjoying making these tiny little elements of the, the, the bureau interior. So I don't know if you can see that, it's a tiny little um, Chesterfield sofa, 125th scale Chesterfield sofa, but I'll be documenting it all anyway. And uh, oh yeah, here's, a, here's another tiny little element going inside. You definitely won't be able to see this, but, or maybe you will. It's a tiny, tiny Victorian wall lamp. So like I say, the whole thing is going to be documented in the next videos. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, give the video a like, subscribe to my channel. I really love it when people subscribe and it really motivates me to uh, spend more and more time uh, showcasing these projects. And um, yeah, have a wonderful day. Stay creative and I'll see you soon. So my idea is that I'm gonna post like maybe one video a week for on, on this channel. So I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.